auspicious occasion of the 78th Independence Day of Pakistan, a flag hosting ceremony was held at Chancery. Ambassador of Pakistan Abrar Ash Hasmi unfolded the national flag at the Chancery. Embassy officials, Pakistani community, and Nepalese friends, along with the families, attended the colorful ceremony. Messages of President of Pakistan, Mr. Asif Ali Zardhari, Prime Minister of Pakistan, Mr. Muhammad Sejaf Sharif, and Mohammad Isaq Dar, Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister were read out. In the evening, Pakistan Embassy in collaboration with Nepal, Pakistan Friendship and Culture Association organized an Independence Day reception at Hilton Hotel Kathmandu. promote friendship and cultural exchanges between the two countries for the last over six decades. They in fact precede the establishment of diplomatic missions in each other's capital. Right Honorable Vice President, as we commemorate our Independence Day, I would like to extend our best wishes to the people and leadership of Nepal for their continued support and friendship. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this day we also remember and pray and also give tribute to our forefathers under the visionary leadership of Qaeda Azam, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, for pursuing democratic struggle for creation of Pakistan. Since 14th August 1947, Pakistan has come a long way in building institutions, achieving economic and defense progress, development and resilience. Pakistan is committed to establish peaceful and cordial relations with all countries of the world. It contributes to global peace through diplomatic efforts to UN peacekeeping. The father of the nation set the priority for our foreign policy and I quote, there is nothing that we desire more urgently than to live in peace and let others live in peace and develop our country without outside interference and improve the lot of the common man. Right Honorable Vice President of Nepal, Dr. Ram Sahaya Yadav, was the chief guest, special guest including DOI Speaker of HORI Indira Rana Magar, former Prime Minister MK Nepal, former DPM and Chairman of CSP Nepal Upendra Yadav, former DY Prime Minister CP Mainali, former Foreign Minister Pradeep Kumar Giwali, and Member of Parliament Ms. Rekha Yadav. A good number of guests including ambassadors, UNRC and agency heads, SG Shark diplomats, political figures, government officials, businessmen, defense attaches, journalists, as well as Pakistani community were present at the program. Speaking on the occasion, Ambassador Hasmi thanked Right Honorable Vice President for Nepal's continued support and friendship. He said our civilizational commonalities, same regional dynamics, cultural and linguistic similarities as well as common developmental and ecological challenges make us multifaceted partners. Your Excellency, Namaste and Aswalikum. And first of all, congratulations on the precious moment of 78th Independence Day of Pakistan on behalf of Himalayan Television. Thank you. As we celebrate uh, 78th uh, successful Independence Day of Pakistan, 
How would you like to reflect the journey Pakistan have taken place since 1947? Thank you, uh, Himalaya TV. Basically, Pakistan has come a long way in building its institutions, and we have uh, also have uh, come through journey of our governance, the prowess we have got, especially in agriculture, industrial base, uh, as well as in our defense, which is indispensable. And besides that, uh, our education system, our health system, the resilient national building, which has all come together. And now we are at a cusp where we will be entering into the next stage of our development. And Pakistan is 240 million strong population, which is a diverse, skillful, and highly successful people amongst them. And we hope and we pray that this journey uh, continues with uh, more growth, prosperity, and peace. Peace within and peace outside. I thank all of you. Pakistan's approach to its partnership with Nepal is underpinned by desire to mutual benefit. To sustain the relations, we linked a number of agreements such as trade, air services, culture, tourism, agricultural cooperations, and many mechanisms exist between civil society too. Today is such it, a historic day. It's, uh, it's such a historical day and it's a day uh, which gives you a sense of pride and independence. You know, it's, it's like jubilation in your life. You feel like, and especially once you see your flagging rising up and above all the flags, especially what we have seen during this year's Olympic, you know, when we won a gold medal, yes. we saw our flag coming up. So that's the independence, you know, that's the pride, which you can only feel on the day when the day comes. So it's, uh, it's really a memorable day for, for us. I feel very good because, you know, Pakistan is in South Asia and I think these are moments to strengthen South Asian solidarity. There's so many common issues, you know, geopolitical issues, cultural issues between Pakistan and Nepal. And I think this is a time where we can celebrate our commonalities, uh, our strengths and also um, uh, enhance our solidarity towards the region. So I think it's a great celebration, um, uh, you know, where Nepal and Pakistan mingle together. And um, uh, these are, these are um, uh, symbols of how you need solidarity throughout the region. So I really enjoyed it. I was happy to be a part of it. Particularly, you can mm -hmm. see, dressed in green yes. to align with Pakistan's flag. Mm -hmm. So my solidarity to all the, uh, the South Asian regional cohesion. This is Pakistan's Independence Day. It's a, it's a great celebration and we congratulate uh, Pakistan and Pakistani people and the uh, Embassy of uh, Pakistan in Kathmandu on this occasion. This is a great uh, occasion for uh, the people of Pakistan and we really wish to say of, on, on behalf of myself and uh, from my countrymen because I studied from Pakistan. That's why we are very close. Great, okay. Uh, Today. Dr. Manju Ratna Shakir, President of the NPFCA, highlighted that the association with support of Pakistan Embassy in its 63 years of history has been serving to promote P2P exchanges, contributing in health and social sector, and furthering the bilateral relations.